welcome back to the social science classes so in today's classes we are going to discuss about the the religion uh, according to the rise of jainism and buddhism in the previous classes we have uh, seen that what is the reason behind the rise of jainism and buddhism today i am going to speak with you regarding jainism actually we i have to say about the jainism means it is a traditionally and is the ancient very ancient religion uh it was believed that 24 tirthankaras were existence in this okay rishabha was the first tirthankara uh, where was the parshvanatha was the 23rd tirthankara after the parshvanatha was born actually parshvanatha i have to tell means here parshvanatha was born on the as the son of king ashwasena in the 18th century 8th century sorry not 18th it is the 8th century bce it is believed that he renounced all luxury and uh, in uh, all luxury life and attained the immortality he renounced the story sorry he renounced the society and become a hermit a hermit uh, he preached four principles for a peaceful life that is uh, we can say as a non violence truth asteya asteya is nothing but we can call as a not to steal and aparigraha not to own property the fifth principle that is a brahmacharya that was taught by the 24th tirthankara we are going to discuss about him only is none other than the vardhamana mahavira so we can say as a five principles we are having in the jainism that is a non violence truth asteya apagra aparigraha and the fifth one is the brahmacharya so about uh, vardhamana mahavira i would like to Mm, talk with you vardhamana mahavira was born in the kundala grama actually in the 900 sorry sorry 599 and uh, up to the 527 bce uh, he was a kundala grama in a vaishali okay one of the republic republic means in here that is a we can call as a ganatantra rajya anta hel karitteve okay fine his father was siddhartha king was a gra sorry the he was the granika tribe the king of and his mother was trishala devi the princess of republic of uh, lichavi at the age of the 30 that vardhamana mahavira came to know that the life is something different so he went to the search of truth and renounced his family he came out from the family and house he wandered from place to place for the 12 years in this quest and meditated um, Uh, he started the meditation and he furnished his body by fasting at the age of 42 and 30 when he was left after the 12 years means it is of 42 he achieved enlightenment okay that is we are calling as a kaivalya vardhamana controlled his sense and achieved uh, power of comfort and uh, pain in here and due to uh, his uh, achievement he came to known as mahavira and become a jaina a jina was one who had overcome his sense and become the victorious thus his followers came to called be as a jainas mahavira spent 30 years and rest of his life preaching knowledge of the this one and his thought he attained the nirvana in the age of 72 72 at um, it is a pavapuri in bihar so mahavira thought five woes that already i have said to you non violence truth asteya pagriha grahana brahmacharya the tirthankaras of here that is the we can call as the jainism you can say samak jnana samak darshana samak charita uh, jainism does not reject the existence of god completely at all they are saying that god is there but it advocates atheism it denies the role of god and daily affairs of people it places god at a lower level than jina they are saying that jina is a higher the god comes after us okay the jina believe that every animate and inanimate uh, thing process of a soul they also believe that the only through purification of this soul the one can achieve freedom the freedom we have to achieve are the from the rebirth or attain nirvana anything the heart should be or the soul should be very pure okay purification how the purification will be possible it will be possible through meditation fasting punishment of bo- body and thereby destructions of the body this process known as the salekana they are calling as a salekana rata also 
the concept of karma is very important aspect of jainism according to uh, this we can tell as a uh, this one to attain enlightenment they should be have the freedom and the bondage of the body and traditionally they have the two sets one is the shvetambaras and the digambaras shvetambaras will be having the white dresses and the digambaras is not wearing the any dresses cloth is so no cloth for them okay uh, and uh, there were uh, 12 uh, angas by the uh, 12 volumes are they these are called as the 12 uh, angas they are in the prakrit language this is about the jainism next class we are going to talk about the buddhism that is none other than the buddha here is an animated video that will be showing you to the uh, lifestyle of the vardhamana mahavira thank you have a great day ahead Mahavir Long, long ago, King Siddhartha and Queen Trishala of Vaishali were expecting a baby. On the outskirts of Vaishali lived a poor Brahmin and his wife. This Brahmin couple was also expecting a baby. When it was time for the baby to be born, Lord Mahavir's soul descended from heaven and entered the Brahman lady's womb. Lord Indra, however, interchanged the babies that were in the wombs of Trishala and the Brahman woman so that Mahavir would be born to a Kshatriya. It is believed that the mother of a divine soul witnesses 14 auspicious objects in her dreams. Trishala dreamt of these objects too. Zebur, a lion, an elephant, a bull, goddess Lakshmi, a pair of garlands, the sun, the moon, a flag, a silver jug, a lake with lotuses, the milky ocean, a divine chariot, a heap of jewels, and a smokeless fire. Soon afterwards, a son was born to Queen Trishala. The boy was named Vardhamana, which means one who brings prosperity. At the time of his birth, 56 celestial beings came down to earth. They bathed and dressed the mother and child and celebrated his birth. Vardhamana grew to be a loving and compassionate boy. Once, while all his friends ran away frightened, he was able to calm an angry elephant. One day, Vardhamana subdued a demon that had joined their play in the guise of a boy. After this, people called him Mahavira, meaning very brave. Though Mahavir was a prince, he lived a simple life. Two years after his parents died, at the age of 30, Mahavir took his brother's permission and became a monk. He distributed all his wealth to the poor and left home. Lord Indra presented him with a piece of divine cloth. When the cloth was placed on Mahavir's shoulder, he gained the ability to read the minds of all beings. Mahavir was a very generous person. One day, 
on seeing the plight of a poor Brahmin, Mahavir tore the piece of divine cloth into two and gave one half to him. The Brahmin's wife, however, was very greedy. She forced her husband to get the other half too. So the Brahmin followed Mahavir into a forest where the cloth snagged on a thorny bush. Mahavir walked on and the Brahmin returned home happily with the cloth. From that day on, Mahavir remained naked. Once a very poisonous snake bit Mahavir. He compassionately said to the snake, Be enlightened and attain peace. His compassion moved the snake and it never attacked anyone again. Mahavir travelled far and reached the village Jrambhika. He stayed on the bank of a river, Rujuvaluka, and fasted for two days. It was while meditating here that he attained enlightenment and became a jina, one who conquers his inner enemies. Mahavir taught the Agamas which were compiled by eleven Ganadharas. Mahavir believed that all beings were equal and worthy of love and respect. The ultimate objective of his teachings was for people to attain freedom from the cycle of birth, life, misery and death. He was against the practice of rituals and sacrifice. His teachings propagated the five vows of non-violence, truth, non-stealing, chastity or not indulging in sensuous pleasures, and non-attachment or non-possession of material things. For thirty years after enlightenment, Mahavir travelled far and wide, encouraging people to follow his path of true compassion. He organized the Jains into the fourfold Sangha. At the age of 72, he gave his last sermon, which lasted two whole days. After the sermon, he left his earthly body. He was the 24th and the last. Tirthankara, or Great Teacher of Jainism.